Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? These are dailies. Okay, we are back. I think, okay, this is two to the three. Okay, let's begin here. Ah, the year has started. Let's see. In a cap, six of swords. Let's see what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Oh. What do we have for the Scorpios? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who are we ignoring and why are we ignoring the person? Okay. Mm. So you're coming in with a mood during the two to the three <laughs> of I know is it two yeah, two to the three, right? You're coming in with the King of Wands. Like I'm not. Like I'm not invested in this. I'm not trying. That's the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a card of... Uh, like, I'm I'm just detaching for now. I'm okay. Thank you. We don't need to talk. Um, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, that's good. The King of Wands is action. Like, you may be... You may just be feeling yourself that day. You look good. You know, coming to you, it's like, oh, look at this. That works. Love that. Now, your person is doesn't love this whole vibe that you're like you as a you know you're Mars ruled, so Mars does not really go along with partner. But your Taurus seventh house, which means that then you find yourself really wanting to have a partner, but when you want to be alone, you want to be alone, just like the Aries, because their uh, seventh house is Venus ruled also. So you have this thing where you give off the vibe like when you want them, you want them. And when you're totally done, you're done. Because it's like, I'm all about me right now. Okay, that's the thing with Mars. And your person doesn't understand that. Like, you probably used to shower, the, not shower them. Okay, maybe you, maybe you do. Um, no, shower them with affection. Mm -hmm. Five cups in the, you know. And it's like, they're wanting the company, the comfort, the chill vibe. And... You're not giving enough. Uh, so now you're in the Nine of Wands over here, which is a card of... That seems not even you. Like, you're already putting... You're putting your, your person here, like, totally, like, sinking in. Like, they're sinking, not knowing what's going on between the two of you. Too much uncertainty for this day coming on their end. Like, because for you, it's like, what, what do we have to talk about? Mm-hmm. Um, a lot. Um, you could risk and be in a long distance relationship, six of swords, but you try to avoid anything that would shake that boat. Like we don't need to discuss anything right now. You're not in that moment with them. Okay, so all right. Six of swords and the nine of ones. Like I'm not really there there. Not invested. This is what you're saying. Not invested. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're scared. They're they have a lot of things that they want to talk to you. I mean, they're in pain. They're hurt. Um, how can someone like you, who probably again used to invest a lot of energy, just pull back? And that's kind of your thing. When you're there, you're there. But once I'm, you know, like look at the King of Wands over there. There's no remorse. And the only thing that your person is feeling, you're not cold, by the way. That's a king of swords. They still feel the warmth, but you're not giving the warmth to them. And that becomes some sort of like issue mm, for them. Like, did I do anything wrong? That's one thing that the... Uh, okay, eight of swords, three of pentacles, page of cups, and the two of swords. Okay. You just don't know what to do in this situation, eight of swords. That's something uh, basically on your head. Like you're thinking, it's like, what, why, what, what do you want from me? Like, what do you want to have? What do you want to happen here? Okay. I don't know what to tell you. I'm in my head, Eight of Swords, when it regards to dealing with you, I really do get paranoid and just get stressed because it goes to the Nine of Swords. So you're preventing yourself from being stressed or being put, you know, putting yourself in a stressful situation. There's the Eight of Swords. So you have a Three of Pentacles, which is a card of, um, hear me out. Let me explain. This is not you. You're not trying to explain to anyone. They're trying to explain to you. Um, if there's something wrong, they 
want to talk. Okay, but again, you're you have the blindfold over there, swords all down, which means like you've already processed this. If it's up, open for discussion. If it's down, it's like let's not talk. Okay, because again, a lot of things are bugging you. Okay. Then you have a page of cups, which from what I'm seeing here is that your their approach to you, okay, um, makes you question the relationship, the value of the connection. Uh, so they're gonna make you think even more, which you're trying to avoid. I mean, hello, the year just started, and then here I am. I have to think and process what's this connection about, the relationship, or how it's just fading. Because it's like this. It came after, but I feel like it's like this. You know, there's something sweet with their message. Libra got this card also. That's a page of cups. And then you have a two of swords, which means like, oh, I like, or let me think, let me process this. Let me try to understand what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So the, the part that they message you, page of cups, three of pentacles, um, you're, you're listening, but you're what we call NR, no reaction, nothing. Be talking and texting, messaging, and you're still like, okay, okay, I'm listening. Now, it boils down to you deciding on this because the two will go to the Three of Swords, or you can go back reverse, Ace of Swords, go back to the line of communication, let's talk, you know. But that's something that you're processing, meaning maybe I should just end this. You know, we don't need to see each other. We don't, we're not talking anyway with the six of swords. So why do we have to interact? So you got a six and two of swords, which is again, eight of swords. So you go around in this mentality. You keep going around in cycles. Okay. And the eight of swords here is showing that you feel stuck. I feel like you are part Venusian in your seventh house, not part. You are Venusian in your seventh house and you do care. You do love when you want to. So you're going to be considerate. I know where your Venus is placed, but, you know, how we deal with other people um, romantically or relationship-wise, it really has to come from the Venus side. So now, from what I'm seeing here, Two of Swords and the Six of Swords, there's a lot of things between the two of you. Eh? The year has just started. Hasn't, but a lot of things hasn't been... Normally, it's like everything has been said and done. Right? And I said that with the King of Wands, you did that. But now when you look at it, it's like, okay, there's a lot of things that is uncertain. We're not together, we're not talking, but they're reaching out, you know, and you're in the tool Two of Swords. What do I do? Two is a number of partnership, it's a crossroads. Either you end it or not. Well, this card says it all. Follow me, link in the description box below. Subscribe to our unlimited extended reading.